and the Pakistanis know it. That's why the Israeli Mossad and the CIA combined to launch the 9-11 terrorist attack on America. Why? Because they wanted to get an opening into Afghanistan. So they could send a few hundred thousand troops into Afghanistan. So they can use Afghanistan as the base to destabilize Pakistan. The only people who don't understand that are the politicians. Everybody else understands that. Because if a politician were to say, Israeli Mossad did 9-11, that's it, he finished as a politician. The Zionists are not going to support him, they're going to finish with him. <laughs> so the politicians know where they get their roti from. And so they'll know what to say and what not to say. And so an attack on Pakistan was prepared since 9-11, 10 years now. And the attack on Pakistan is meant to destroy Pakistan's nuclear plants and nuclear weapons. Why? Because Israel wants to rule the world. Anyone who has studied the Quran and Hadith properly would know that. Because they have studied the subject of Dajjal. You have read my book, Jerusalem in the Quran, have you not? We have it in English. We have it in Bahasa, and I have news for you. We have a very young Imam sitting in front of me here, and he's almost finished translating it into Tamil. <laughs> bless, may Allah bless the Imam. So you're going to get Jerusalem in the Quran soon in Tamil. Israel wants to rule the world, so that a man can stand up in Jerusalem tomorrow, meaning about 20 years from now, and declare, I am the Messiah, Al-Masih. But we know that the Messiah or the Masih is Jesus, Nabi Isa alayhi salam. So who would he be? He would be Dajjal. In order for him to declare, I am the Messiah, he has to first make Israel the ruling state in the world. And then he can rule the world and say, I am the Messiah. That you understand already. But in order for Israel to rule the world, Israel has to wage great wars. And that's the Malhamah that's coming. But Israel cannot wage great wars if Muslims have a weapon with which they can significantly threaten Israel. And so no Muslim country must have nuclear weapons. That's the new religion of Israel. That's the new religion of Zionists. That Muslims must not have any weapon with which they can threaten Israel. But Pakistan has that. Thanks to Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, who did many bad things, but this was a good thing that he did. Thanks to Ziaul Haq Marhum, who did some bad things, but alhamdulillah he died as a mu'min and shaheed. And uh, others as well, who not only brought Pakistan into the nuclear club, but kept Pakistan there. In order for an attack to be launched on Pakistan, to destroy Pakistan's nuclear plants and nuclear weapons. You will also have to break up Pakistan so that Pakistan can never revive itself. Because the Pakistanis are going to be very angry. Who is going to do that job? To break up Pakistan. You don't need a PhD to answer that question, do you? Israel's most strategic ally in the world today. 
after the United States is India. India used to be secular India under the Indian National Congress. But now India has become Hindu India. Not the Hindu India of Gandhi, a different kind of Hindu India. And this Hindu India is joined with Israel in a strategic alliance. And so India is going to play a significant role in that effort to denuclearize Pakistan and to destroy and break up Pakistan into bits and pieces. I believe the Indian Muslims already know that. 